Hi right, fellas, it's Friday and of course I'm going to do one thing, it's time to dive inside the fridge and come and scrap this, pick one out and see what we think about it. Today we have this one. It's, uh, it's a Belgian wheat beer, brewed in Norway, from a brewery that I cannot pronounce. Shall we dive in? See what we've got? Cheers! Hell fire. You know what, I didn't think I was going to like these tops that take the whole... Um, Sorry, the, the ring pulls that takes the whole cap off. Because I thought they were going to be really sort of awkward to open and end up spilling beer everywhere. Second one, and it's uh, come off with ease. I can smell it coming out of the can, so I can understand why they make a can like this for such as an IPA and things like that. But this is a wheat beer. Oh, it smells friggin' awesome, so let's get it poured out. So as always guys, I'd like to thank our channel sponsors Beers of Europe, Dakota UK, the biggest online beer store in the UK and their selection is fast covering the globe, so go and check them out. Wow, that's pouring really, really bright. That's a real bright colour. And, um, oh look at that, that yeasty goodness out of there. And turn a nice bright beer into a wheat beer. So it's, uh, it's obviously well carbonated, it's streaming up the glass quite big bubbles formed, bit of a cap, nothing too much to talk about, it's got an aroma. Oh, you know, out the can it smelt really, really banana-y, out, uh, out the glass it's smelling a lot cleaner, a lot crisper, a lot more like a lager malt profile aroma, it smells good, do not smell overpowering, I'm dying to get a taste on her so cheers fellas, let's go in. Wow, that's actually quite pleasant. Normally, a lot of the wheat beers that I've tried have had mainly this uh, banana ester that's up front in the flavor. And sometimes there's a hint of clove, but the banana is leaps and bounds above that star of the show in them sorts of wheat beers. This one, however, the banana's taking a back seat, the mesters are taking a back seat, and the clove is coming through really strong, stronger than any other wheat beer I've ever had up to date. And because of that, it's adding a real spiciness to it, almost like a peppercorn sort of flavour coming through. Uh, the body, as the aroma would suggest, really crisp, really clean, refreshing, quite thin but really nice and clean. Definitely getting a nice hit of the wheat that's running through it. it does dry out right at the back end, right as that bitterness creeps in. And I think it's that that's playing my mind. It's sort of a, um, almost a bit of a puckering on the back of the tongue, like a grapefruit pith would give you. I think that's where I'm getting that reference from. But all in all, it's very nice, very nice and refreshing. And it makes a change to have a wheat beer where the cloves are coming out more than that banana ester flavour. But don't take my word for it, make up your own goddamn mind. Beer Zero up Dakota UK. As always, I'll leave a link in the description box to where you can get this beer. Mmm. And that's it, fellas. That is it. So, as always, guys, don't forget to thumb up this video because you don't want to do. Don't forget to subscribe, click on this little icon, and you won't miss out what's coming up next. Share the video, get it out there for all to see, and until next time, I'm out of here.